Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Bounty Hunter. And in this episode, we're going to be starting the first level in Chapter 3, The Break In. Ross, do you copy? Ross! Sorry, Django. I'm getting a lot of interference. Must be the asteroids. Either that or I'm losing my hearing already. Well, you've still got your looks. <laughs> oh, you are a smooth one. Where are you? I'm on the surface now. I'm gonna try and slip in through a cargo supply port. I hope you're not planning on using your jetpack inside the prison. I'll be careful. If it all goes to plan, I won't need it. And of course, it will all go according to plan, of course, because, you know, I'm Darkshot the Poisoner, and this is Django Fett, and together we can do no wrong. So, we are on Uvo 4, a prison compound located on an asteroid, and we are looking for... Oh, jeez, I forgot his name. The guy we're looking for. Uh, but we're trying to break this guy out of prison so that we can uh, bring him to Sebolto. And Sebolto's the guy who we think has connections with Death Sticks and the Bandogora. So we're bringing him uh, to Sebolto. We're bringing this guy from the prison to Sebolto as sort of a our, our ticket to him. Dude, oh, quit hiding, man. You do really, really, really want to be careful in this area because if you step too far... Fu too fur... Man, I'm from the south now. As you can see, there are turrets on top of the uh, that compound over there, which can make this kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, and enemies will really start to lead your shots by quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is going to back up and regroup a little bit. The easiest way to get around both these turrets, because there's one on either side, and oh my god, come on, respawning enemies for the loss. The only thing I can say about this level is, as you can see, they have, like, these little, fl like, glowing things around them. Uh, they have, like, little, uh, you know, police be beating rods, I guess. If you've ever played the game Half-Life 2, they have, like, those electric sticks the police do. Um, that's kind of what I, they're akin to. So, I'm, I'm just trying to get a good trajectory here. The easiest way to go about this is right up the middle, as you can see. They, they both miss, and then once you get to a certain part, they can't shoot you anymore. And basically all the bad guys in this level will carry upgraded blasters. So it's pretty much a given that you're going to want to avoid blaster fire as much as possible. Not that it ever wasn't, but yeah, you're definitely going to want to have to do that. It's going to be it's going to be a top priority in this level. Anybody in here? Nope. Nope, no respawning enemies today. Anyway, once we go up top, on the bottom, some guys are going to start spawning. What's really cool is you can actually take control of these turrets. And if you hold it down, they'll shoot really slow. But if you start tapping A, you can shoot really fast. And it's like a giant laser beam. I thought that was really cool the first time I did that. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to blow these guys to pieces! Because I was like a cool little kid. And I, I dreamt about blowing people to pieces. That was my primary mission in life. Oh, man! No! No, the door closed! Come on. There we go. But yeah, for some strange reason, you do have to, like, take out all the guards on top before that door opens. I always found that kind of stupid. Uh... And I don't know. There's nothing in those doors. We just want to open this door over here and quickly pull out our ID scanner, and there is a bounty in here. And then we can just jump out, and what we picked up on the ground over there were actually some grenades. By the way, I never use the rockets. I don't think I've ever had to. Um, so I'm just gonna be cool and just toss a grenade in the middle of these guys. And, uh, actually, let's toss a few. Yeah. I really find no... Oh my gosh, did my grenade really just get knocked back at me? Oh, this is a disaster in the making. Well, I miraculously survived that attack. That disaster of an attack. And yeah, there are a lot of bad guys in this level, so be prepared. They do drop health every once in a while. About one in every five guys drops health. And I did kill this guy on purpose because every single... or not every single... Uh, only the last guy, the last bounty in this level, is the one who you need to keep alive. All the rest of them give you the exact same amount of money if you keep them alive or if you kill them. I just prefer killing them because, you know, in a situation that I was in uh, just a minute ago, like with a very little health, 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 that's a, that's a TH in case anyone was wondering. 
uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna pretty much gangbang you, and you're gonna want to take out as many guys as possible without having to worry about the bounty. Um, something I learned, which is actually really cool, is if you target and then jump and boost like that, you'll get the maximum amount of of height as well as traversing forward. Um, oh my God, really? I'm just having troubles with this room right now. I don't know what's going on. It's already like five minutes into the video, and I'm having some major difficulties with this room. Okay, okay, jetpack. I think you can recharge a little bit faster than that. I've seen you recharge faster than that. There we go. And oh, man. It's not turning out to be my day. It's just not my day. Um, we can kind of sneak out here. You can see that cool spaceship take off in the distance. I always thought that was kind of neat. Good little touch. Um, to the right of this uh, item that's sitting there, you can look over there, and there is a bounty. Uh, that item they place there is actually a pretty good marker, just to let you know he is sitting there. There are poison darts here as well. And we can just drop down and start wreaking havoc. As big as this room is, there really aren't too many enemies that you have to worry about. The only thing that you, you know, have to think of doing is grabbing this bounty. And you can just grab him and run to this particular... Oh, hi, there are guys on that bridge. I forgot that there were guys up there. Run to this door, go inside, and be prepared for the massacre of a lifetime. Because I think a bunch of guys are going to start coming down the stairs, if I'm correct. Oh, hell, thank you. Thank you, good sir. Oh, well, I lied. I'm thinking of a different room. We just need to go out and through this... Yeah, we need to go through here first. <sighs> well, I didn't know they shot you. Oh, we need to go to the left. I didn't think... What? I didn't know there would be a guy in here. Jeez. I'm just getting surprised. Like, oh my gosh. Really? You can't, like, jump and then grab the ladder up top? That reminds me of a... Um, what is it? Kirby and the Crystal Shards. Um, in some of the DDD portions, there was a glitch where you could make DDD climb ladders really fast. Which would be, you'd, like, jump off the ladder, uh, get some height, and grab back onto the ladder after that. So it's kind of like the reverse of in Legend of Zelda, where you could drop off a ladder quickly and then grab onto the bottom so you'd avoid taking damage from the fall. It's kind of the reverse of that. But apparently Jango Fett can't do that, so I guess what I'm getting at is Jango Fett is worse than King DDD. Well, at least King DDD has chain grabs, we can give him that much. And pointless door switch is pointless. I think this is the room where a bunch of guys just start to gangbang you. But we want to go up top, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys in here. And like I said, the guys, the enemies in this game, or in this level, they really try to lead your shots, so your best bet is to just, you know, lock on and strafe back and forth, because as long as you're strafing, they're going to shoot in front of you, but if you strafe quickly enough and short enough back and forth, it's like they're going to shoot everywhere but where you're standing, if that makes any sense. I'm not quite sure if it did. If it didn't, ask for clarification in the comments. I don't really care. Oh, wow! <laughs> that surprised me. Maybe I'm just a little on edge because I was watching uh, some walkthroughs of Dead Space 2 recently. God, uh, I don't really like games like that. Not really a big fan of uh, games that make me jump. Games that go bump in the dark, you know, in the night. Games that go bump in the night, I guess that's what the saying is. Um, how many do we have? We have two of five. That's correct. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of horror games. I'm not a big fan of horror films either. I jump easily. Not not to say that I'm like, you know, I I am scared of like gory stuff. It's just I don't like getting surprised. If that makes any sense. Like I can handle suspense, but like if somebody jumps out from around a corner, I I absolutely flip shit. I just I go crazy. But if it was like if it like if, if I can if I can watch a horror movie like if you watch the first uh, Nightmare on Elm Street you know obviously you can tell what's gonna happen Freddy's not gonna uh, do anything different the second time you watch the movie 
but it's just, you know, I don't like that first element of surprise in, like, uh, some of the newer movies you watch. I'm not really a fan of that kind of stuff. I like, I, I'd like to know what's going to happen before it happens, please. Let me assume, rather than surprise me. I think what we're trying to do here is we're actually trying to take out all the enemies in this room. As I recall, that's what you actually have to do. Or I could just be totally mistaken. Which has happened, you know, multiple times before. Wouldn't put it past myself. Can I shoot this guy through here? Definitely can't. Solid ob- Oh, wait, I could. I did. I hurt him. That's cool. You know, I think... I'm a total liar. I'm probably gonna have to s Oh, yeah, there we go. No, we did have to kill quite a few enemies, because this door needs to open. And then we can press this switch. And there are poison darts over there. I think our poison darts are full at the moment, though. ATM. Uh, I haven't really got much to talk about now. <laughs> Pretty much just exhausted my entire rant for the day on, you know, surprise me, surprising things. Yeah, 50% of the enemies that'll be coming out of doors and stuff and spawning all over the place. That's a lot of health. That's a full refill right there. Uh, yeah, like 50% of them are gonna have blasters. The rest of them are just gonna have those little night sticks. That's what they're called, night sticks. Night sticks. Um, they're gonna have night sticks. Uh, the guys with night sticks, just don't get close to them, obviously. Uh, the rest of the enemies in this level, um, we're going to be encountering the first one now, are robotic, actually. Pretty cool. Uh, this one's probably the easiest one, because this guy has very bad firing capabilities, and they have the tendency not to be able to fire upward. As you can see, he only got one shot on me. But they do have pretty powerful blasters. He took off about two units of my health. And are we doing the right thing and going the right way? I'm going to say yes. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. This guy. Yep. Uh, I think we can kill him, can't we? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 4,000. Um, there is gonna be a lot of guys spawning in here, so grab some rockets and don't use them. I have never used the rockets in this level. I don't found. I had never found a need for them. Like, you could use grenades, like I did in that one instance, but they bounce back in my face. You know, you tend to hurt yourself a lot more than you hurt the enemies. Sure, it's good for, like, a bunch of guys in one group, and I just got infinite jetpack. Oh, yeah, son. Or wait, that's not infinite jetpack, is it? No, that's just lots of jetpack, I guess. Oh, no, 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 I remember what that does. I remember what that does. I, you know, I totally forgot about that. I forgot that was in this game. It, um... It pretty much gives you, like, a full uh, bar of boosting, but then, you know, your booster doesn't recharge and it drains a lot slower, so it's like it fills it up with a, a giant tank of gas that's non-replenishable. That's sort of the best way I can describe it. I think this is actually the door we want to be going through, this one right here. Hi, guys! Hick Filthior! God. And grab some health. And a full refill right there if you need it. I don't think I do. Nope, I don't. And a Mandalorian knife checkpoint. Press a button. Press a button and we'll go through the door. That's like the. That's like 50% of this level. And yeah, we have three bounties. Okay, just wanted to double check. This is this room is basically a duplicate of the previous room. But oh, there we go. I thought I saw something moving up here. Yet yeah, we have another little boosting pack, which I'm probably not even gonna use. We can boost up here though. That'd be awesome. Oh, there's that special weapon. Here's a special weapon. I'm probably not going to use that even. I like my dual blasters a lot. I think you I think you could tell that by now. But I don't really use any of the other weapons. Unless it's a special circumstance. Or unless I just feel like doing something. You know, I actually find darts to be pretty useful. That's the only other thing I'd say would be pretty awesome, because darts are a one-hit kill and they're silent, and they don't really attract too much attention. That's just cool. 
Anyway, we can actually come over here and you can notice there's like a difference between these two piles. There's a hole inside of this one. Drop down and... Oh, Mandalorian feather! Still have a little bit left in my jetpack thing. I don't really care, though. My nose hurts. What's going on? We can press this button. Is there a guy behind me? Yeah, there is. Wow. Sneaky little bastard. And we shall continue forth in the next part. I'm just going to pause it right here because we're kind of running out of time for this episode. So I will see you guys later.